Now, question number 29 says, for what value of x is the fraction, you can see the fraction here, is said to be equal to 0. Remember, we have solved a question which is very similar to this, but it says undefined instead of equal to 0. Once algebraic fraction says undefined, it means the denominator is equal to 0. But what it says equal to 0, it means the numerator is equal to 0. And therefore, in this expression, we are going to set the numerator to be equal to 0 and solve for the value of x. Solution, we are going to take this numerator x squared minus x minus 6, and we are going to set it to be equal to 0. That is the only condition that this is going to be equal to 0. But if it is undefined, we take the denominator and set it to be equal to 0. So we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. We have x, we have x. We are going to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get the constant term, which is negative 6. And when added up together, we get the coefficient of this x, which is minus 1. The numbers are minus 3 and plus 2. Because minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And we are going to set each of these factors to be equal to 0 in order to obtain the corresponding values of x. So for x minus 3 equals 0, this implies that x equals positive 3. Because once negative 3 crosses over equality sign, it becomes positive. And the other one, x uh, plus 2 equals 0, this implies that x equals minus 2 if positive 2 crosses over equality sign. So these are the required solution. x could either be positive 3 or negative 2, which uh, we have here as the option B. Okay, now let us move on to question number 30.